Tin God. Where's your fucking button? Switch him off. I've used so many heals. As if that had been. I'm just getting started. Oh, this. How did that not hit you? That's bullshit. Fuck, comrade major, you not now. Let's just not talk for a while. Okay? I think telekinesis is an upgrade. Yeah. Did you search Petrov's body, my boy? Did you find any gold rings on him? No, sir. Petrov didn't have anything on him. Very well. Report to the Pavlov complex at once. Yes, sir. I'm on my way. I need heals. I need to make heals out of the wazoo. It's a dead woman over here or something. A man. Are you? Yes, you? What's Lastishin? Get over here. <laughs> this guy was promoted ahead of his time to be leader of the, uh, the theater. What did you just say? Oh, my. Do you really not understand plain human speech? All right, never mind. Just drag my body to the entrance. When the rescue workers arrive, I want them to find me first. My magnificent body will grace the first pages of newspapers everywhere, not just in the Soviet Union. Come on, dummy. Don't just stand there like a debutante. The theater director commands you. Looks like Petrov was the only... Uh, who was the one who put the most... My boss is not you. Um. Ah, so you're the one who turned this place into a whorehouse. Oh, so you're another bullheaded prude. I gave people what they want and deserve. Everything can be bought and sold. And every person's soul comes with a price tag attached. All you have to do is figure out the currency they accept. You're fucking demanding for a dead man, you know that? <gasps> you don't say. Are you showing your teeth? Oh, what a delightful and plebeian expression. <laughs> Remember, boy, puffing your chest and showing off character does not mean you're actually in possession of said character. Come on, do what you're told already. You are a lackey of sectionals. You should be used to being bossed about. I lost my interest in talking to you. Good. A boring conversation anyway. Do what I tell you. And get through here? How do we get out? Oh, up the stairs? For God's sake. How is that not a bug? <laughs> Invisible wall, really? Okay. Oh, it might. <clears throat> yeah. I hear another one of those things bleeping around. I want to get out, man. Yeah. Oh, is this the way out? Yeah, follow the waypoint. Ugh. Waypoint gamers. 
I'm not doing too well. <laughs> uh, okay. Save room. Boom. I what don't is your current this? status, Comrade God Major? Damn. I'm detecting a loss of focus and an intense surge of emotion. My status? I'm losing my fucking shit. That's my goddamn status. I failed my mission again. Victor's dead. And I've got his head in a damn jar, and Sechenov thinks that's all fine and fucking dandy, get it? No, Comrade Major. I've done a lot of shit in my day, okay? But I've never lugged a human head around as a trophy. Did you see that gigantic robot in the theater? There was a combat robot in the theater, Charles. But you know what really grinds my gears? No, Comrade Major. The rings. The motherfucking rings that asshole Petrov gave me. And you know why it grinds my gears? No, Comrade Major. Me? Neither. Shit. What is this dialogue? Whatever. It's okay. I'm fine. I'm fine. I don't see why we need a check-in now every time we go into a save room. I d <laughs> Do you, like, he asked the glove whether he saw the robot that we just fought. How would the glove not see the robot? We fought it. Uh. Hey. We're headed to Pavlov. Got any ideas? Pavlov is a secret complex located in a remote part of facility 3826 called Sahalin. It would be quite difficult to get there on foot given the large number of enemies. I suggest taking a vehicle. And, Comrade Major, this would also be an excellent time to enhance your arsenal as much as possible. Oh. Searching for other testing grounds is highly recommended. Yeah, it might have been rhetorical. If you weren't talking to a robot. But I, I need Enough to remember that it's uh, 1950 or whatever. There, there, Major. <laughs> whatever you say. It's, uh, I don't think he's quite... Please select the desired procedure. Maybe used to it. Okay, let's get some heals. My prediction for the end of the game is we're going to go back to Sechinov and it's going to be revealed that Collective is actually the end of the world and he's going to sick those two bodyguards on us, the two ballerina looking ones. We're going to have to fight those, then fight Petrov, uh, not Petrov, Sechinov, and then uh, that'll be it. Fuck, man. Christ, how did I get that? It's all a dream, yeah. I take that. Is this a shortcut? This looks like the place that we were at before. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I think we've been here before. Yeah. Bow. Did you enjoy the show? Thank you. Please come again. Come back soon. We're expecting an amazing new batch of robots for your entertainment. The next show will be even more interesting. Please come back here for a sequel. I see you enjoyed the show so much. You can leave to purchase a ticket. Please go to the ticket booth. At the other end of the foyer. Don't forget the snack bar. Please proceed to the bar. Did you leave anything in the coat check room? Please proceed into the restroom. Leave this place! Sure. <laughs> you don't have to ask me twice. Major P3, I'm waiting for you in the Pavlov complex. Everything is ready for your arrival. I'll be there as fast as I can. I suggest using a car to move between the research complexes. There was a surge of sprout activity on the surface. The place is positively overrun with mutants. Right. Mutants. Got it. Loading screen. Just one more question. No. 
Filatova wasn't there. I understand. You didn't find any gold rings on Petrov's body, did you? Two rings with better one and better two engraved on the inside? No, he didn't have anything on him. P3 out. Fading data. How goes this, Sunny? Still in one piece? Hey, Granny Zena. Long time no see. I've definitely had better days, but yeah. I guess I'm still in one piece. Did I hear right? You finally got that bastard Petrov. Well, nothing gets by you, huh? Yeah, I got him. Actually, he kind of got himself before I could get him. Don't you worry. If you got his head, that means this will all be over soon. Then you can get some sleep. Now you're speaking my language, Granny Zena. Mind if I stop by for a cup of tea? Stop by any time, Sonny. By the way, uh, you didn't happen to find any engraved gold rings while you were off chasing after Petrov? No. I didn't, Granny Zena. Petrov didn't have anything on him. Oh, well, that's okay. You just watch yourself, Sonny. Stop by if you need anything. I want to go see Granny Zena. I want to go see Granny Zena. Where is, where is she? This map is terrible. It is so bad. Boat station, collective. Monorail. Why have you deceived everyone, Comrade Major? Petrov gave you those rings before he died. Everyone else is deceiving me. Even Dr. Sechenov, and I never saw it coming. On what basis have you drawn this conclusion? I just thought about what Petrov told me. Would you kindly be more specific? Petrov said combat mode was programmed into the bots during construction. He couldn't possibly have reprogrammed them all himself. It's true, goddammit. And why uh -oh. is that? Because Petrov was a pussy. He was a programmer, not a fighter. But these robots know how to fight. He couldn't have programmed them because he doesn't know the first thing about combat. That Natasha was armed with fucking missiles. Where'd it get him, huh? It's a construction robot. Petrov couldn't have armed it with missile launchers. He's not an engineer. He couldn't have hacked into the robot plant and started changing shit around. He fooled the central hub and made it think innocent people were an invading army. That's it. So why would a construction bot have built-in missile launchers, huh? Why would a civilian Dropa have a damn railgun? Or an owl a machine gun? The signs are everywhere. Just like you said different perspectives. Unfortunately, after analyzing your logic, I am forced to draw the same conclusion. Especially since your suspicions are more justified than you know. What do you mean? Exactly that. Listen to this recording. What duties are you referring to, Karad Sechenov? Do you even realize that if the Americans find out that your robots switch to combat mode, I guarantee your project will be dead in the water. To my profound chagrin, I failed to pay sufficient attention to the phrase, robots can be switched to combat mode. I took it as a colorful expression Molotov used to cast dispersions upon Dr. Sechenov. But it's clear that Molotov was speaking literally. The Politburo knew from the very beginning that Soviet civilian robots had a combat mode. The Atomic Heart Project. Petrov wasn't lying. Sechenov and the Politburo want to conquer the U.S. and the entire world. So what are you going to do now? Think. Charles, why does everyone want those rings so bad? You mean the beta connectors? Because they work, but oh, are also crap. considered not to exist. So nobody can prove they're out there. Not even Collective after the launch. Especially not Collective after the launch. <clears throat> For Collective, anyone connected via the beta connectors will simply not exist. But they'll be able to see Collective. Yes, all of it. A person with a beta connector will not be able to influence Collective from the inside since they won't exist Ooh. for Collective. But they will know about everything that happens inside it, just like any officially connected human or robot. But can't an officially connected human or robot disconnect from Collective if they want to? They can just take their thought device off, right? I believe so, yes. You believe so? So you're not sure? Or is there something you're not telling me? I have no data, Comrade Major. But no one can stop a person from removing his or her thought device. It's worn on the head. Not implanted in the skull. That's good, I guess. 
There's one thing about this game that I don't like, which is the random lore drop in the middle of combat. It really pisses me off. It just makes you not pay attention to what's going on. Okay. I need some more of those dynamo things. Authorization. Major The ones that re restore energy immediately restores energy for a while. Energy comes back after a while, but it's not as quick as one would like. Ah, crap. Oh, there would be loot in there, wouldn't there? Oh, great, you're one of those. That's one of those. We're okay. Didn't see shit. There we go. Nine hundred? Oh, good lord. Bloody mutants everywhere. Petrov, that sick shithead, that fucking truth lover. Screw him. So much blood spilt just because he made the sprouts mutate. I highly doubt that Petrov had such a result in mind. He is not a geneticist nor a plant breeder. you even come could from? not have foreseen all the consequences of the malfunction. Then why the hell did he do it? So many people are dead, and the ones with sprouts for heads had to get killed twice. First by the robots, then by me. Morally speaking, Petrov's action cannot be justified. We are in complete agreement in that regard. Fuck Petrov, he's dead. I feel bad for all those people. I stayed in the service after the war to stop this kind of thing from happening again. And now... You have my sincerest condolences for all that has transpired, Comrade Major. Shit. Touch me. We're good. We're good. We're good. Uh, it's one of those shit. Dead motherfucker. Oh, he's bringing all his mates as well. Um, run. Damn, 
you're ugly. <laughs> he dead. I don't think I need to kill all those, but whatever. Also, I could have probably just jumped on that fire truck and taken them all out. Eh, oh well. You live and learn. All oh, the loot, though. Probably worth it. All right, let's get this car. Let's try not to destroy it. 